Hello everyone, welcome to the North Fire. And today, uh, something different, not a flight review, because, uh, you know, coronavirus. So right now, I'm in the slot cockpit of Lines Manager. So, uh, from the previous video, I we had a few routes and two hubs. Uh, right now, I have four hubs, which is Hong Kong, HKG, Melbourne, Tokyo Nuita and Los Angeles LAX. And as you can see, my balance is negative 34 million. And that's because uh, I had to pay back my loans. And also, uh, this video will be tips. So, tip number one, and since I'm here already, I'm going to talk about it. So, loans. Uh, don't get too many loans because you'll have to pay them back each week at least like a fraction of it but if you put them all together then you would end up getting a huge bill and you won't be able to earn enough money to expand so right now uh, I have two leased Bombardier Q400s and they take like five or six minutes, so I'm gonna do it my own time. So when you're scheduling, which is tip number two, uh, let's say schedule from Hong Kong, you have to make sure that all flight, all aircraft are more than eighty percent used. As you can see with the green bar, uh, if you can. Try your best to schedule it like 95% and above used. That's how you can get the most profits. And if you can do your best, do 100% used. That's the best way to earn money. And as you can see, costs. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm not sure what else to say right now, so don't do what I did, don't buy too many hubs. Right now I have four hubs, but I possibly recommend doing one or two hubs because having four hubs you would easily lose money and also your ranking. If you want to be like in the top 10, then don't buy too many hubs at first. You can buy more hubs later as you progress. And also the aircraft size. Uh, if you look here, you can see flight costs. It cost me like almost 30 million. One more thing, don't do what I did. I uh, don't have too many aircrafts on one route. Probably have like two or three. Or, poss or possibly, if you can, uh, have an A380, which is yeah, like this one. That one's from. That one's going from Narita to Cairo. But to fill in the remaining demand, uh, I have also have a Sony 7 Dreamliner with my I have this Hong Kong to London because in your world people would fly from Hong Kong to London and also probably operate more efficient aircraft right here you're looking at is a Airbus A340-600 well, it looks like kind of modern because, of course, I make it look modern. But the operating costs is higher and also fuel consumption. Uh, let's let's pretend we're going to let's pretend we're going to purchase an aircraft. So, uh, a forty six hundred. There it is. 
And the problem with the 8040 is it can only land on uh, airports with category 9. Uh, I strongly prefer like category 8 because you can fit the 8380 and 8050 1000. So that can be a problem if you want a more fuel efficient Silver 7 with the Silver 7 AI. That that can be a problem and also if you want wide bodies maybe don't choose the 1000 at first you can see the high price 335 million so maybe go down maybe don't choose 850 yet uh, once you've got more you can use that because of its low f fuel consumption and war rate go down and yeah uh, for long haul I would absolutely recommend the Sony 7-8 at first because uh, one it has a shorter delivery time for those impatient people and also the fuel consumption is good enough the capacity is good enough and the price is good enough how many times have I said good enough? So yeah, the price... You can also go for the AT3300 if you want a more bigger plane or the 77-9 Well, if you want ultra long haul, then probably choose the 77-9 It's not as... It's, it's not as long haul as uh, AT3500 ELI, but it's still good enough or you can go with the Boeing 777-200LI For beginners, don't lease the fleets because you're gonna have to pay every week and as you can see the aircraft... Oh, that's done So I have two Bombardier Q400s being leased There it is and uh, I'll go for uh, some. So, this is how you schedule it. Uh, if you're lazy, you can use automatic scheduling, but I'm gonna use automatic scheduling because I mean, uh, the good thing about automatic scheduling is you can, you don't really need to, it's just like you select time, uh, let's say 4 pm. Since it's already 3 or 4 p.m. in airlines manager time, and just press any one of these four buttons, they both do the same thing. And yeah, but they, but this thing decided not to. There. So I also have to talk about the routes. Uh, when you want to create routes. Uh, Let's say we uh, we want a route from Hong Kong, and uh, let's say France. Yeah, France. Uh, so right here at France, uh, maybe select aircraft. Uh, let's say eighty fifty one thousand, and you should operate routes that are at least. Uh, 22 to 24 hours Toulouse would be a good one But it's not just about the flight time. You also need to think about the demand. So Take for example Paris as a it Takes a shorter time to go to Paris and the demand is 1698. I haven't Demand is uh, 1698 for economy and if you go to Toulouse, uh, it's less. But it's not much of a big difference. So, uh, let me go to another country, maybe China. Okay, so we have uh, 
Let's say you want to use the 8021 Neo. So when you, before buying a boot, make sure uh, maybe have a 8 hour, 12 hour or 24 hour flights because uh, that's how you can make your aircraft more comfortable. And So, uh, I'm not sure what to say, but the point is, you'd have a good route, like, an aircraft that is almost or exactly 100% used, and also a destination with lots of demand and... So, one thing, if you're mainly focusing on money, if you go to research, this thing right here, I'm just dragging, it converts money into research dollars. But if you're focusing on money, then just validate zero dollars. But the point of, but you shouldn't just do that because uh, with research, you can have. Uh, lower simulation cost, audit costs, and you can also unlock more aircraft. Because if you don't, I mean, I researched most of the aircraft. Uh, it's kind of useless to research a lot of aircraft, but... Oops. But because uh, if you go to research, if you do more researches, uh, let's see, 440 researches, you can earn some AM coins and with the AM coins I kind of went a bit crazy with it because I use them to buy liveries you can get free liveries but you only like I think you get like one or two or three liveries free at first and then you have to wait like 14 or 15 days until you can unlock another delivery but if you're impatient you will have to if you so I have like five more deliveries my next Elon's Pizza delivery you can buy deliveries from the delivery market but but they're sometimes expensive. Uh, maybe if you want the Chicago one livery, uh, just create your own and you can get it for like four times cheaper. Just use Airlines Painter and then you're able to get your own liveries and also add your own brand. You can also sell it for 100 AM coins, but I don't think it's really useful. But if you sell it, you can earn some AM coins, but not really much people buy it. I haven't done that yet, so I'm not sure what it exactly does. But uh, when I heard from some other players, you have, uh, so sometimes their liveries are banned or they're not allowed to be sold. Uh, it's probably because uh, you can't really have real brands on it. Uh, maybe excluding the Airbus name on the on Airbus aircraft of Boeing or whatever, but maybe real airlines, airlines name. Uh, Sold. I don't know. So I'm not sure what else to talk about this video. Um, I'm having more aircraft flying right now. So yeah. So thank you for watching in this noodle flyer video. Follow my Instagram noodle cut kkv. It's in the 
description below and also I've started a KKV Airlines Instagram account that will also be in the description below so please follow both if you feel like it and also subscribe to my channel and like this video because if you like this video more people will watch it and also tell your friends to watch it because I don't just play Airlines Manager I make flight reviews and yeah